what is up everybody welcome back to the channel welcome to another video and welcome back to my little home so i figured i'd shoot a video for you real fast so we're currently getting things ready to go pick up the volvo we have about 30 hours until i am headed out it's almost nine o'clock wednesday night we're going to leave at about three o'clock in the morning friday morning so T minus 30 hours and counting until the Volvo finally comes back to Utah. So it's only been a year and a half. I mean, yeah, it hasn't been that long. I can wait 30 more hours. <laughs> Holy hell, I can't believe it's been in California that long. So um, as soon as I get the truck back, we'll go over the story. Many of you know it broke down in January of 2019, December 18 January 19 I'd have to look again hell it's been so long um but once we get it back uh we'll go over a whole damn story of why it's been down there so long but anyways I'm getting things ready so let's start with that all right ladies and gentlemen we finally have it we got it we got it we got it the damn 96 hour transit permit for a whopping $2.50. We got the permit, we got the insurance, we got the proof of ownership, and we got some parts. <laughs> so this will go in the window. We have some stuff out in the garage we'll go over in a second. I've been putting things together. So when I first went this morning to get this, my insurance was scheduled to start on the 23rd which is one of the papers over there and so we couldn't get it first thing this morning I had to have them switch the effective date to today the 22nd and then go back out and so we finally get it we finally got it we did it we're good to go and then uh why all the insurance crap was happening i ran out to mountain west truck center here in st george and picked up a hub seal and two mud flaps so the driver steer tire the little seal that's in the middle of your hub uh, it came out at some point in between me moving the Volvo from Volvo Fontana over to the storage place where it's at and so when I got over there I noticed it and so I stuffed it full of uh, with a rag or something rag or paper towels or I can't remember what I stuffed in there to keep it sealed so water or rain couldn't get in there so we needed a hub seal and then i have hub seal oil out in the garage but what's funny is this isn't me so if you guys are wondering uh i do not own blaine evans trucking there just happens to be another blaine evans in the state of utah that owns a trucking company up in northern utah this is up by provo salt lake area but i just thought it was funny uh, I paid for the parts, and then I looked at uh, the account they put it under, and I was like, oh, hey. So, I remember driving past that. It's right off the side of the freeway, little teeny, uh, it's just a little teeny building, and it just has a couple of bay doors, and it says, I think it's Blaine Evans and Sons Trucking or something now, but hell, I mean, back when... We used to go up as kids up to see some of my family up in Salt Lake. I remember seeing that and I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. Somebody had a trucking company named after me. So, and now I'm a damn truck driver. So, and if you guys wonder why I'm a truck driver, that's my old man right there. Old school truck driver. So, as you can tell by the Peterbilt hat and the flannel shirt. All old school right there. That's the old man. So he passed away back in 2017. That was my mom next to him. She passed away a month later. But anyways, enough about them. Uh, but that's why I got into trucking. So my trucking has been in my family for a long time. So we've just been gathering some stuff that I need to get her home. Um, like I said, we're going to put these on the, either side of the truck that way we don't get messed with at the ports we can just blow past them we got 
mud flaps because Volvo apparently misplaced mine. Down there, we still need to stop and get two uh, mud flap hangers, just the little L brackets. Volvo up here didn't have any, and so I'll swing by a TA or something on my way down. Obviously, a case of water, I'm going to be driving through Death Valley, so um, if something was to happen, got the gear oil for the front hub, and then the little hub seal. Got the scotch tape for the signs. Got my dash cameras for footage in case any jackasses decide to be jackasses. Jumper cables. It does have four brand new batteries. Um, but it hasn't been started in six months, so I'm assuming that it's going to be dead. Uh, tool kit, air pressure gauge, uh, airline to pump up the tires. I'm assuming the tires are not going to be the right pressure. <laughs> And so just a few little odds and ends things. I am going to grab my grease gun and I'm going to grab just some oil. Uh, I have some coolant set in there. And I don't know, I have a list, but just a few random things, you know, just have fluids with me just in case they need to be topped off. And then my grease gun, grease all the little grease fittings. That way, I mean, she hasn't been started in six months, so we're just going to treat her good. I mean, she's always been maintained really well, and we've always done all the maintenance and put all new parts on her. I mean, she should run like a champ. She ran like a champ when I drove her from Fontana over the storage place, but that was only like a 15-minute drive. And she ran amazing then, so I'm assuming that she'll just fly home, so... I mean, it's only 300 miles, and we're not going to be under any load, but, but, and then here's all my nonsense for the truck, fridge, microwave, coffee maker, weights, TV, this was the bed that I bought it with, this doesn't go in there anymore, we just use this for camping, it's just cheap foam that Aero Truck Sales gives you. A whole pile of crap over there, straps, chains, binders tension bars, corner protectors, whatever the hell else is over there. We got that totes full of crap. There's more crap back there that I have. Uh, my CB's there, my power inverter's there. And so everything's here. And the only reason why I took all this stuff out is because I used it in the other truck. So that's the only reason why it's all here and then the power inverter and the cb was going to go in one of the other trucks but it's all going back in the volvo now so but that's the plan so we'll head down yeah in about 30 hours so i'm excited I was working on, for any of you guys that stuck around this long. With that being said, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next video.